Hi everybody, this is Ambi and uh, today I just want to show you how to now uh, go ahead and uh, update the Windows, I'm sorry, uh, the VMware tools for your uh, operating system or the guest operating system. So Windows 7 is the host operating system. Inside that I have an application that is Windows VMware, I'm sorry, the VMware Workstation 7. Okay, I've recently upgraded my, you know, uh, workstation. Uh, remember, you have to upgrade the VMware tools when you upgrade the kernel of the of your Linux operating system, or if you up upgrade the VMware workstation itself. You know why? Because the VMware tools are nothing but the VMware drivers, and you know some of the other tools, uh, mainly the drivers, or you can say only the drivers, uh, which will help, you know, uh, the guest operating system to run smoothly and uh, you will be able to you know uh, use all the benefits of the guest operating system uh, the benefit the main benefit that I am you know, really interested are uh, I really liked about VMware Workstation 7 is you can use Aero feature of you know, Windows Vista and Windows 7 inside VMware Workstation that's really really cool right and there are some uh, really good graphic drivers too I mean the graphics driver what what they have now that's that is really good so let's go ahead and now try it out and my Linux Red Hat 5.4 x86 operating system all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on VMware here install VMware tools click OK let's see what's going to happen but I don't want this now because I don't have a server configured or something. So it automatically mounts a virtual so <laughs> again virtual a virtual CD ROM drive inside the Red Hat operating system here. And I have it here. So let's not do it the GUI way. Um let's do the GUI way, I'm sorry. So double click on it. It'll automatically take you to the archive. Right? So here let's extract it to the desktop. All right, I'm extracting it here. Okay, let me close this down. I don't need it anymore. Is it done? I think so. So, all right. As you can see now, I'm just trying to move my mouse. It, it, it's kind of now shaky or you know, some kind of it gets stuck. All right, so that shouldn't happen, right? So let's see what we have. Okay, we have some installation files. Uh, let's open up a terminal. Okay, this is for the normal user. I'm gonna press Shift Control T to open one more tab. Su hyphen or Su dash or Su minus whatever you call. So it's gonna ask me for root password. So I'm a root user, the most powerful user. All right. So let's navigate to this VMware tools distribution. Well, what if you don't know the path? Okay. Let's right-click on it, browse folder, and click on this kind of a text icon. It will show the path. All right. So let's do that. CD as in change directory slash h. I'm gonna press tab. That's gonna show the way home. All right. I'm gonna and could you right in desktop. I have VMware tools, okay. So I'm in there. Uh, let me do an LS. Uh, LS is list. So VMware does not install a PLL. I don't know. I mean, how to install this. Uh, okay, let's do this way. Let's double click on this install file. So it's going to tell me you now how to install this. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So, not well, usually it's, you know, this is where it is, right? This is how we install it. So installing VMware tools. In which directory do you want to install the binary files? Yes, in that directory. What is the directory that contains uh, any tool? It's already detected, so it's already known. Just keep hitting enter, enter, enter. I've already uninstalled the old version, otherwise you know, it would have uninstalled the old version too, right? Say yes. Okay, this is what I want. I said yes. Okay, it's going to take a long time. Let's wait.
Hmm. Well, I think it's it's doing its job. Hmm. First, let me see. You know, is it recording or not? Yes, it's recording. All right, good. <laughs> well, I was just, you know, making sure. All right. Uh, install the documentation. Say yes. In which directory do you want to install the document? I actually can change the no, path, but why do you want to do that, right? I mean, what's so necessary, right? See, I kind of you no know, typed some you know, bad wrong characters here, so it asked me again. All right, so I said yes again. So is this what I want? Say yes. Just keep hitting enter. Uh, do you want this program to invoke the pro command? Well, before running VMA tools for the first time, you need to continue configure it by invoking the following command. Do you want this program to invoke the command for you now? Isn't it nice? It's going to tell you what to do. Is it okay? It's going to ask you permission. Uh, just say yes. I mean, everything is right usually, all right? Because they know the operating system. It's going to be Red Hat, so you know. <laughs> and do you wish to enable this feature? No. I mean, it's an experimental feature, so they have already they already have a suggested choice. No, there. So I'm going to just press Enter. Want a compatible pre-built module for VMCI? Uh, modules are nothing but you know drivers. Well, we will discuss that in a no, later video. Let's see what it's going to do. It's thinking. It is thinking. Please enter a number between 1 and 22. It's uh, no, actually no asking for the resolution. 1680 by 1050. But I, I mean the resolution, what I have is actually no, 1920 uh, uh, by 1080p. I have a high definition monitor. So let's press enter. Anyway. But it's still going to take it, you know. So it's logging off, you know. Just making sure. Okay. Alrighty, beautiful. But still, it is running at 1920 by 1080p. Isn't that nice? Really nice. Switching to guest configuration. Okay, let's see. Mounting shares. Well, that's not necessary anyway. Sit back and relax. Beautiful. That's it. We're done. So, see you on the next video then.